right, this is a quick look at the allergy and asthma center of Western Colorado. This is their pollen outlook. Grasses are starting to tick up trees. I'm still seeing cottonwood drifting around the areas and I still scratchy throats and a little bit of uh, 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 clearing is required for me throughout the day. Of course, that might just be orchard lung starting a little bit early this year. We'll see. See how that goes. I'll keep you posted. Upper 70s right now in Grand Junction, mid 70s Montrose, 83 right now for the Delta area. Pretty good temperatures. Uh, while not official, these are the high temperatures so far for the day. Uh, we could add another degree or two once this gets evaluated. But again, uh, this is the trend. We're going to continue to go warmer than the averages. Sometimes by only a couple degrees for Montrose, we should be 73, 74. Sometimes uh, by a handful of degrees, Grand Junction, we should be about 76, 77. And we're going to continue to push these numbers uh, kind of up and down, but we're going to maintain a fairly steady keel uh, plus or minus temperatures all the way through the weekend and into next week. So not a whole lot of differences in the coming days. Uh, now I did talk about a cold front yesterday that was primarily for the divide and areas east of the divide, uh, but that's going to swing through and that'll uh, probably keep us on the breezy side of things tomorrow afternoon, uh, but we're going to keep breezy conditions in the forecast. Uh, we're talking 10 to 20, 25 sometimes, and that's right where we are 10 to 20 miles per hour just right now with our wind speeds. Now, Storm associated gusts, yeah, notwithstanding, we could get some stronger wind blasts, 35 to 45 miles per hour. Now these, these gusts can travel great distances. For example, Grand Junction, we had some storm clouds over the book cliffs, exactly what we anticipated this afternoon. And those winds from the collapsing storms uh, traveled all the way towards the airport, into the Fruitvale, into the Clifton area. So uh, yeah, 45 mile per hour blasts, you know, a little bit of an expectation for any anyone in the coming days. Top gust so far for Delta Montrose about 10 miles per hour. If we could get another storm cloud up on the Uncompahgre to kick out some wind, we may experience stronger wind gusts. What we have not experienced is a whole lot of rain, but you can see a little spot of it up on the uh, central and northern portion of Mesa County, the Buck Cliffs, for example. Uh, these warmer temperatures and any of these spots of rain showers are going to contribute to uh, Bankful. Uh, we're talking widening rivers. That was a great news report uh, just earlier in the news block, and that's something we're going to continue to talk about because our area waterways are getting bigger. And you know, one of the things when we talk about the National Weather Service has this saying, turn around, don't drown. And every summer we talk about when you encounter uh, water over the roadways. Well, the exception being this year because that water over the roadways is moving so fast and it is actually deep. Now, previously, you probably disregarded it because there wasn't a heavy flow or a strong current with that river. Uh, but again, uh, the reiterance or to reiterate, you don't know if that road has been compromised regardless of how fast or how slow that water is moving over the river. So please be careful. Uh, we have a lot of flood warnings. These are going to continue. We have a flood advisories. These are going to continue for the same area waterways. But if you do recreate, if you do find yourself around any of our rivers, streams or tributaries, please be very careful. Uh, don't think you could just wade in and certainly don't go jumping in with an inner tube. Uh, you need to be prepared. You need to have safety flotation devices. Last time I checked, inner tubes are not a flotation device, certainly not a safety device. On radar right now, uh, just some, well, we have plenty of clouds. We have partly cloudy skies out there. We don't have a whole lot of rain opportunities developing, but again, we're on the northern edge of this high pressure system that's circulating around the area, cycling up this moisture for us, and this will continue tomorrow afternoon as well. But it's that cold front that I was talking about as it starts to dip down from the southern Canadian provinces. Oh, and by the way, uh, they have wildfires in Canada, so we could even see some smoke by the end of the week from them getting transported in behind this cold front. But this cold front primarily is for the divide and the eastern portions of our state. Uh, we may get a degree or two dip in temperatures overall, but I'm not going to notice the difference. I don't think you will. But once this clears out, this opens up the western half of the United States to really kick in. I talked about the, the spokes on the wheel. When that turns around, especially those low pressure systems off towards our west and northwest, that can kick out waves of energy. And that's exactly what we're going to get each and every afternoon. So we have to wait because it's the morning hours. We won't really see a whole lot of those storms. It's the midday that those storms pop up over the mountain zones and then into the afternoon hours they can drift over some of the lower elevations. Not a ton of rain, but when you have that chance each and every afternoon, it could add up. Now the good news is uh, we're working on a surplus for our rain uh, in the gauge for Grand Junction. Officially, we're about uh, half an inch 
greater than where we should be for this time of the year. So that's beneficial, but you can see this extended forecast from the mid May all the way through the end of the month end of the extended period. We're going to continue with these rain showers and they're going to move through. Now these will drop temperatures. They will drop some rain showers if you find yourself underneath one. If you don't, you'll likely see some lightning, hear some thunder and you could feel some gusty winds.